Fantagraphics veteran Jack Cohen joins Tapas Entertainment. Over the past 15 years, Jack Cohen's name has become almost as synonymous with the Seattle-based indie graphic novel publisher Fantagraphics as that of its co-founder, Gary Groth, which is why when Cohen announced last month that she would leave her position as executive director of marketing, communications, and publicity at the press for an unknown new position, practically the entire comics business turned their heads. They are likely to continue turning with the news that Cohen has joined Tapas Entertainment as director of PR and marketing, where she has been charged with bolstering the growth of Korean webcomics in the U.S. market. Calling the move an exciting new chapter in my career, Cohen said that she was honored to be on the front line of the K-comics movement and to have the opportunity to contribute to the growth and evolution of the comics medium at Tapas, which she added, has already established itself as a pioneering platform. The change, Cohen acknowledged, is a major one. Prior to her tenure at Fantagraphics, she had served stints at fellow indie comics, Star Wars Dark Horse Comics, and Top Shelf Productions. Her move to Tapas takes a revered veteran of the indie comics world from a small press that PW once called one of the foremost publishers of comics graphic novels, and related works in the world, to a digital publishing platform acquired in 2021 for over half a billion dollars by the South Korean entertainment, media, and publishing giant Kakao Entertainment. We are thrilled to have Jack Cohen join our team, said Jaden Kang, VP of Global Story Business at Kakao. Her expertise and passion will be crucial in bringing Tapa's content to the forefront of the U.S. comics market. We are confident that her leadership will drive significant growth. Cohen said that she was excited for the challenge, noting that there was much traditional graphic novel publishers could learn from the webcomics world, which continues to expand both online and into print. In the end, she added, the two businesses are not so different when it comes down to the root of the work. Publishing is publishing, whether you're publishing in print form or publishing on a digital platform, she said. There's deadlines that are coming and are missed. There are creators who have big visions and big feelings. Tapas was founded in 2012 as a webcomics app and merged with serialized fiction reading app Radish, also acquired by Kakao in 2021 in 2022. Since then, it has become a major player in Kakao's battle for dominance in the ever-expanding Webtoon industry against such rivals as Webtoon, the webcomics platform that just announced its plans to become a publicly traded company, and whose parent company, fellow South Korean giant Naver, is Kakao's principal rival in the space. Also on PW.